So you may have heard all this hype about alkaline water and how it's better for you than regular water. I'm here to show you that all of this hype is nonsense. Welcome to this video, my name is Nick John and I'm about to expose the truth about these popular alkaline waters. To do that, I'm going to pour the waters into these glasses and then with a few of these pH indicator drops, they'll change the color of the water and that color will indicate whether the liquid is acidic or alkaline. This is a pH chart and as you can see, it ranges from zero to 14 with zero being most acidic and 14 being most alkaline. So without further ado, let's put these waters to the test. All right, so here I have great value hydrate alkaline water costing 98 cents per liter or about $4 a gallon. Essentia, which claims to be ionized with a pH of 9.5. This will cost you $2 a liter and $7.50 a gallon. Aqua Hydrate with a pH of nine or higher is about two bucks as well, uh, 7.65 per gallon. And in this one, I poured tap water, which will cost you less than a penny per gallon. And in this one, I poured Kangen water 9.5 fresh from this Kangen water ionizer, which costs about 18 cents to produce per gallon. That's including the machine price, electricity, tap water, and the yearly filter replacement. Now, according to the chart, all of these liquids appear to be alkaline, but I'm gonna show you a trick that will expose their true colors. Before I do though, let's take a look at the ingredients of each of these liquids. This one, has potassium hydroxide, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, essentia, has sodium bicarbonate, dipotassium phosphate, magnesium sulfate, and calcium chloride, and aquahydrate has sodium chloride concentrates, which is magnesium iodine, iron, calcium, chromium, selenium, zinc, copper, manganese, and Molybdenum? Don't even know how to pronounce that one. Tap water has way too many ingredients that I can't even pronounce, so I'll just put that up on the screen. This is the Environmental Working Group's National Tap Water Database. These are the results for the zip code that I'm in currently, and if you wanna see what's in your water at your home, you can go to ewg.org, click on National Tap Water Database, and enter your zip code. Then last but not least, Kangen water, which is just tap water after the contaminants and the chemicals have been filtered out, leaving water and essential minerals. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow air with this straw into each one of these liquids and pay attention, watch closely, see how the color may change. Let's see what happens. As you can see, I've exposed these waters for their true colors, and I've brought them back to their natural acidic state. See, the only reason that these were alkaline in the first place is because of those chemicals in the water. And if I were to put baking soda in every single one of these waters, they would turn back alkaline, but it's a fake alkaline. It has zero benefits for your body, and it's not doing anything for you. The true essence of it is acidic. The only one that remains alkaline is the Kangen water, and that's because it was ionized in this machine. It split the pH and the acidic water was discarded. What gives this water its alkalinity is molecular hydrogen, which also happens to be a selective antioxidant. So this water is healing your body from the inside out. I hope this video has helped you make the decision of which water to drink and which ones to not waste money on. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and contact me if you have any questions. My name is Nick John, and I hope you have an awesome day. Peace.